To really see just how well this game performs, we need to simulate into the future. Let's look at 25 years and just see how well this Excel football management game can predict the football universe. Don't worry, this will be my last video on the topic so you can return to your normally scheduled waiting for FM25 now to set up an experiment of your own, download version 1.4 or later if I release future versions. And what you want to do is on the new game tab, select the team testing. This will let you project forward quickly as you wish. Again, thank you so much for your support. It's been mind blowing just how kind the community has been so far. For those of you who haven't seen the other videos, check out the banner now for game features and tutorials. As this game is all based on normal distribution and random probabilities, genuinely anything can happen in our results, and that's the beauty of probability. You can see in the top left as we progress through each match week. Each season projection on my laptop potato takes about two minutes of processing to move forward. Those on proper machines should hopefully be able to process these in no time at all. Now let's look at season one results. First thing that jumps up to me is that United won the Premier League by quite a few points, with Arsenal and City only separated by one point for second and third place respectively. On the other end of the table, Fulham, Ipswich and Leicester were relegated. It was a really, really poor season by Ipswich, only getting 18 points. To be fair, these outcomes probably make sense. Obviously, United still benefits at the beginning of this game from a really high reputation in the match model. Now, let's see what happens over the next 24 seasons, and I'll see you at the end of season 25 with a summary of just how well Excel predicts the football world. Now, this here is my nice little Excel summary of my Excel outcomes from my Excel game. If you haven't realised it yet, I like Excel. Our table here has a nice wee summary of the Premier League finishes and cup finishes. Excuse the colours, but for me they represent a few things that I want to call out. If we go season by season, let's check out if there's something of note to discuss. In seasons 2 and 3, Wolves achieve the miracle back-to-back -back second place finishing, which is outstanding. In season 4, Liverpool win the double, with City falling at the final hurdle across all three competitions. Season 6, Southampton win the league, Nottingham coming second, amazing work from some mid-table teams. Season 8, it's Nottingham again proving their second place finish wasn't just a flash in the pan, runners up in both competitions. In Season 9, Ipswich won the FA Cup. Season 10, Brighton win the league and Nottingham again consistent with a third place finish. Season 11, oh my, Nottingham again doing the wonders, winning the league this time. Season 12, the Burnley Cup double stands out with Wolves achieving a third place finish. In Season 13, Brighton win their second Premier League in just four years. Now this is the football world I want to see exist. In Season 14, Southampton's third place finish is again a strong performance for the team with Hull making a cup final. In Season 16, we see Arsenal win the double and Cardiff remarkably win the FA Cup from the Championship, I believe. In Season 17, Burnley, the cup specialist, make it to two more finals and won one of them. In Season 18, league specialist Brighton win their third league with an epic Manchester derby in the AFL Cup final. In Season 19, Villa get their cup double and Tottenham go back to back in league victories. After having waited so long for their first win, it's remarkable that their second win win comes immediately. In season 2021, Man City were unhappy seeing Tottenham winning back-to-back -back leagues and decided it was their turn. Fulham getting second in the league is wonderful effort and Nottingham again winning the FA Cup is great. In season 22, we see Cup Specialist Burnley win yet another cup. Season 24 sees Southampton win the league again. In season 25, we see Man City doing the remarkable, winning the domestic treble, a remarkable way to end this projection. At the bottom here, we can see who won the most in each competition. Liverpool seven third place finishes is quite quite heartbreaking for a team that is consistently good but not great, winning the league only once across the 25 years. I also love the fact that both Burnley and West Ham won the equal most EFL Cups throughout the simulation. Rather than just looking at the highlights, it's important to consider also the range of results and relegations for each team. The second table here shows all 33 teams that competed in the league across the 25 seasons, ordered by average league position. Man City was far and away the best team finishing the 25 seasons with an average place of fourth. Most incredible is the fact that their lowest finish across these 25 projections was 10th place. I also love that Man United, one of the best achievers across the 25 years, still spent one season in the championship after being relegated in 18th place in season seven. Now that concludes our look forward. Thank you again for all your support and hopefully your wait towards FM25 is quicker than you thought. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.